Hey, how's it going? Welcome to Rapid Fire Reaper Tutorials. All info, no fluff, so let's get to it. Today, I wanted to talk a little bit about duplicating notes because I know a lot of people have a beef with the way duplicating MIDI notes in Reaper works. Namely, the way that the defaults are set up are a little bit maybe counterintuitive for some people. So we have the edit duplicate events action set to command and D by default. You know, so if I select these notes and I go command and D, they come over here. And this is what people have a lot of problem with. And the reason for that is if we look in this chord, we'll see that two of its notes are kind of invading the measure line and this happens if you humanize notes or if you play them by hand or whatever and by default when you do duplicate events with command and d what it's looking at is like okay this is a two measure long passage one measure has notes and they kind of end a little bit after that and the rest of the measure it sees a silence so it doesn't put anything there you know if i were to drag these back a little bit and then go command and d then they come over here on the next measure it also won't work if i have a melody let's say i got something like this and if I want to duplicate it to make it come over here we'll go over here because again it's seeing this as a measure of notes with some rests and it puts them after those notes so don't forget just because you can make tons of custom actions in Reaper and all that stuff doesn't mean that the good old-fashioned command and C command and V doesn't work right so I want to copy this note anywhere so I just select it go command and C put my edit cursor anywhere and go command and V and I can go command and V many times that will do exactly what I wanted to do same thing with the these chords here right even though they do invade the measure line i just come and v them and they work however this may not be fast enough for you so i'll show you a couple of other ways another way to approach this is to use this action edit set time selection to selected notes and we can set that to command and t so if i select these notes hit command and t now my time selection is set to here and now i can use another one of reaper's defaults which is duplicate events within time selection if any smart duplicate so if i set a time selection with some notes selected Selected, I can copy it like this and this is fine but again to me setting a time selection is a little bit cumbersome especially because right after you do this you will lose it so you know I like to have my time selection for example set to a loop or something while I listen to my chord progression and I'm writing a melody or whatever I want that to remain there and loop there while I do my work so to avoid the time selection issue and also just to have faster ways of duplicating this uh, rather than command C command and Ving, I've created a couple custom actions my first custom action is if I hit V I'll just duplicate whatever notes I have selected and this works whether the notes go over one measure so I can duplicate a whole measure like this or I can select any random number of notes and duplicate them like that just by one button very easy peasy so all that custom action does is copies the selected notes so first you select your notes then you hit this action it copies then it moves the edit cursor to the end of selected events and then it pastes them right there so if you want to duplicate any kind of arpeggiated passage or any kind of like melody or chord progression this works fine by just pressing one key however there is one issue with this which i'll show you in a drum track so i got my drum track here very simple drum pattern you got hi-hats on the eighths you got snares on twos and fours so say i want to duplicate my hi-hats right and if i press v well they'll be duplicated right here this is where reaper's default comes and i can go command and d and that works and then you may have another problem for example say i want to duplicate only the second half of this but i wanted to go on the first half so one thing I can do with the notes selected, go command and C, command and V, and they'll go over there. Or we can use this custom action, and this is the last custom action that I will show you called paste notes to edit cursor, and that just eliminates one hotkey, it copies and pastes. So with my edit cursor anywhere, I can copy any number of notes. My hotkey for that is control and V, and they'll come here. So another use for that is something like here when you're creating a chord progression. So in this chord progression, let's say I want my first chord to also be my last chord. Well, one thing I can do is again, copy it, place my cursor here and paste it. Another thing I can do is Alt drag and that will work. And then our V won't work and the Reaper's own command and D won't work because it'll put it here because again, it sees this note and these as the rest. Those just those selected notes and nothing else. So that won't work. But with our custom action, I just place my marker here, right drag to select these notes and hit control and V and they'll be pasted here. So those are some ways of duplicating. Each has its uses and, and the default hotkey 
definitely has its own place. Like when I'm drum editing, Command and D is most of what I use. The V action is good for small passages that are under a measure long or like kind of phrases where they're like a measure and a half long. And then our Control V custom action just kind of gets rid of one step of having to go Command and C, Command and V. But again, you know, fundamentals turns out to be what we need. You know, Command C, Command and V works in every software. You can download my custom actions on my Reaper stash or on my website. Link of both will be in the description. So that's it for today. Have a good weekend. Uh, I just had another quick announcement to make. So if you don't know, I've been, you know, running this channel and I have another channel where I put my music on there and it's just been really daunting to run two channels at the same time. So what I wanted to do is to unify everything under one channel. So I've decided to upload my music on this channel as well. And today I'll be releasing a music video. I hope y'all don't mind. You know, you may just see it and think it's a tutorial. It won't be. It will just be my music. And you know, it won't be, it would be very erratic that I would release any music. I'm not releasing five tracks a week. I release, you know, 10 tracks a year. So it would be a mild inconvenience at worst for you. That said, if you can check my music out and let me know your thoughts, that would be really nice. Today I'm releasing a music video because it's Bandcamp Friday. It's a great day to be supporting independent artists because Bandcamp just gives us every penny you spend on our music. So check out my music. If you feel like it, if you have time, I'd really appreciate it. Let me know your thoughts. If you really liked it, definitely download it. You can name your price on Bandcamp. And for today only, I will get all the money. And also go and support some other independent artists um, that you know, because we're all struggling in these new times or whatever. So yeah, so I would appreciate your support. Hopefully you're not annoyed by it. If you're super annoyed by people posting music on their tutorial pages or whatever, let me know your thoughts. In the end, I want to do the bidding of people who watch my videos, especially people who watch my videos to the end. So if you made it this far, I value your opinion. So please let me know what it is. Otherwise, have a good weekend and I'll see you on Monday. Bye-bye.